This is the Stormy Willow Podcast, a light-hearted, balanced examination of the paranormal. Hello, Stormy Willow fans. Hello, Adele. Hello. I'm going to put, like, fans. <laughs> just for you, but not me. Yeah, just for me. <laughs> oh, that sounds about right. <laughs> How are you? Happy uh, January. It's still January. I think it's, like, January 200. Hey. Yeah, <laughs> only the eighth. It's only the first week. <laughs> I feel like January lasts forever. Like next week's my first full week back to work after the, you know the holidays. So you're just like, man, I work five whole days. I can't do this. <laughs> Wasn't it? I think it was only a four day work week last week. Too. Last week, yep. And it was, felt like a long one, didn't it? I was so busy. Like this is a busy month for us. I feel like it's like end of year but it's that's so of year. unfair too like you know everybody's getting back from like that vacation mode and it's just like oh man we gotta like bring it <laughs> we even had like big org changes and like a lot of like new ways of doing things roll out for like our pto and time track like effort uh, tracking projects so i'm just like wait what <laughs> let's just go ahead and just get it all out there <laughs> wait let's all right let's just do this let's well, go i don't it. know how i mean i know you said you had a really busy week but i had a really awful week just with people in general just being fucking assholes like everybody was an asshole i feel like last week i don't know i guess it was that like full moon was in cancer on friday and adele can tell you that one was hard for me i don't know if this is i'm a cancer maybe but yeah, i don't know really rough one it was rough i no nobody was mean it was just really busy and i don't like being feeling rushed nobody was rushing me i just don't like feeling rushed oh we know um yeah you can't rush a <laughs> little um but i don't know i did my, like my new moon uh my full moon ritual for like the new year and that was kind of nice. Like, I just burned stuff I wanted to let go of in my little, nice. like, incense burner. And then lit white candles for the new year with all the stuff I want to manifest and charge all my crystals. That is so awesome. Like I... Yesterday I felt kind of bleh. But, yeah. like I said, I'm I'm completely going cold turkey, not drinking. So. That can be it, yeah. It kind of, is, it's boring. Being sober <laughs> is boring. <laughs> Well, I also did a full moon ritual, but I was a wreck. Like, yeah, you, you I'm, were texting, time. I'm texting mom and dad and Adele, and I'm like, I'm just so sorry for being such a bad kid and not being there. And like, I literally cried myself to sleep. And like, Stephen's like, what is going on? I'm like, nothing. Like, and I, I wasn't drunk. I uh, nothing like major happened. I just really felt that energy and I just was a freaking maniac. Just hysterical. Just thinking about just like, oh, I could have done this better. I, I should have been a better this or that. And I just I, I don't know, girl. Like, that full moon had me like I've never had a full moon pull on me quite like that hard, but it was it was not cool. And then I think people were just so mean all week. And then somebody was really nasty, nasty to me on Friday. And I just was so mentally just like, you know, I'm just, I'm sick of readiness. I'm just, I'm done. I'm yeah. done being ugly. Like, just stop. Just enough. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't work in such a cutthroat industry, so it's very rare when I have somebody be and mean. And mine wasn't work. even, mine wasn't work-related. Like, not oh. even work-related. Just in general. Just, just somebody being an asshole. Yeah, just someone being an asshole. Like, it was not even work-related at all. That's... It was just, it was just people in the world. Mm -hmm. and, and it just... Yeah, it was not even work related. I mean, the, I mean, the one thing I can say really nice about my company is they are really, they're funny about that stuff. You know, people talking to you ugly and you know not being kind. And it wasn't work related. And it's so I felt so bad because I had posted. Stephen had brought me my favorite tea from um, the Mercantile, so he came all the way home to bring me a tea and a hug because I was in tears. And all I posted it on Facebook how appreciative I was about it. And all of the people that I work with, they're like, we're so sorry. We're so sorry. We appreciate you. We appreciate you. And I'm like, oh, no, no it wasn't. Was it, it wasn't work. I promise. No. Like, it was not work related at all. It was not. I was like, but thank you. Like, it was just so nice. So I was like, oh, thank you very much. But it wasn't. It wasn't you guys. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully, hopefully this week is better. Um, mm -hmm. We, you know, so last 
like Christmas season, we got uh, Pearl's DNA test done to find out what kind of dog she is. So Has it been a year. Yeah, Did so we that? just got yeah we just got one for Nolan, so that's in the mail today. Because um, we're just like we've never been able to figure out what the heck he is. I feel like, and I may be wrong because. I was, I think, a pearl. I was like, way wrong. I'm thinking he's got to have some sort of Scotty dog in him. Just a little bit, right? Yeah. You know what I think he is, though? I was watching the dog show last weekend. I think it was. You know, and um, I think he's a Griffon. I could see that. A, 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 a I, Brussels Griffon. I think he's a wired hair Griffon. Oh! <laughs> Not not full blooded. I just have no idea what he's mixed with, though. Maybe he's a Scotty kind of Yeah. yeah. Watch him not be like watch him be something so random. It's like what? Like, he's a collie. It's like what? <laughs> yeah, he's part lab and collie. <laughs> like something completely random. It's like, yeah. Because we really thought Pearl was gonna be more Yorkie, but she's like almost no Yorkie, just like three yeah. percent. I was surprised. Pearl surprised me. But what a cool gift. I think that's so yeah. fun. That's so uh yeah, I mean, once I found out she was Poodle and Chihuahua, I was like, Chihuahua, that's it. Yeah, I can see that. And I guess Poodle, too, like her little fur is kind of like a Poodle. We, knew. I, well, we, we know, we 100% knew what Shelby was, 100% know what Birdie is, and then Herman, we think, is long hair dots and Skipper Key, but we don't know. Well, you should do Embark. I should. Embark. I should. We are always looking for sponsors as well. Yes, it's cute. Embark. They put like a cute little video together about your dog, and then they tell you like their family tree, like what they think the mom was and the dad was, oh, wow. and what percent of the each breed they are, and like characteristics about that breed. I should definitely, I should get that for uh, Stephen for Valentine's Day. It's oh not yeah, like, it's not like he listens, so he won't know. Yeah, exactly. It's only like I think sixty bucks or something. That's, it might be a little more fun expensive, yet. expensive now, but still, it's fine. So it's just like a cute little video all about your dog. Well, maybe we can put a picture of Nolan on our social this week and have you guys vote on what you think he is, and then you can read us the results when they come in. Yeah. Maybe the winner could get, I don't know, like one of these awesome stamps. One of these cool stickers. stickers. <laughs> you know, I might even give you five. Hey, now don't get crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we're givers here at Stormy Willow. <laughs> Free merch. <laughs> Well, yeah, let's do that, Adele. Well, so, um, uh, oh, oh, <laughs> oh James. <laughs> so, uh, do you have any fun events planned for the new year? I only have two because it's still like new in the year, and one you've already covered, but it's just another reminder that Valentine's Day 2023 is January 13th in Orlando, Florida. That sounds like a lot of fun. It sounds like it's actually a film festival and kind of convention. Whoa. Um, like, it, it's from like Vil I can't remember. Like it's like a play on like the producer's name, but it's also villains. That is pretty creative. I love like, Villacom or something. But um I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you that we're probably gonna borrow that name for our Valentine special. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we could do that. We could do this like is such a good name. I love it. Yeah, yeah I mean, that may be fun. Furry. It's not like we have any, you know, merch or I mean, I think like five people still listen, so you don't have to worry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's us and our parents and maybe like one friend. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Actually, no, dad doesn't listen. <laughs> dad does not. Well, one of dad's friends listen. So thank yeah. you so much. Like our own dad doesn't listen, but we're so glad that you do. We'll and, uh, keep uh, saying funny things about him. Yeah. And sorry, sorry, we're usually pretty hard on Florida, but it's all in fun. Like the Florida man, we're pretty sure that is dad. <laughs> For sure, it is. Um, the only other event that I have is the Fear Fair 2023. That is a whole weekend, January 13th through the 15th in San Bernardino, California. Oh yeah, that was what I had to you on the list. Okay, yeah, yeah, those are, I think things are still kind of revving up. I kind of peeked ahead to like springtime and fall. There's going to be a lot of fun stuff coming. Oh yeah, <laughs> I cannot wait. That's all yeah. I have. So I, of, I'm dying to hear about the forecast after the week you had. Listen, um, yeah, so I, I had a rough week. Uh, I'd be interested to know if any other cancers also maybe had a rough week last week since the full moon was, was in our world. Um, whoa, it was, I, I, I told Steven uh, one day, I think it was Friday night, I was like, 
I am really feeling my Zodiac sign so much today. Like I literally want to crawl under my shell and like not come out from under the cover. I, I was just like, what the hell did you do? Watch Still Magnolias while drinking <laughs> some wine? No, oh my God. And that's the funny thing. Like zero, like I didn't have any alcohol. I didn't watch anything sad. I just was a freaking wreck, you guys. <laughs> like a complete wreck. Um, but I want to tell you about this really cool website I stumbled across when I was doing uh, our forecast. And it's called them.us and it's your queer weekly horoscope. How cool oh, is that? Cool. I really loved it. And so I am just going to read straight from their site because they did such a lovely job. And so this week, my friends, it's going to see the end of Mars's long month of low energy and draining retrograde. So now you had mentioned that you kind of feel a little drained. I know I have just felt I have felt really drained the last several weeks as well. I think we kind of talked about it a little bit. So you're going to start seeing some relief from that pool that you might have been feeling. Um, Mercury retrograde is going to be done next week. So it's pool with all the different planets are going to let up. And hopefully that's going to give you some more energy, maybe, you know, to get some stuff done. Um, Thought this was interesting. I don't really know what it means, Adele, but I wanted to read it to you because it talks about your um, your sign, Leo, and my sign and our favorite villain. So I wanted to, I'm just going to read it to you and tell me what you think it means. Okay. The Jersey so, Devils in this? <laughs> no, it's Lilith. <laughs> oh, that's funny. You know, we love comes, Lilith. She kind of comes up in my topic today. It's not her, but, but we'll get to that. <sighs> All right, so here, here's what it says, but I'm not sure I fully interpret what it means. So Lilo officially enters their villain era with Ooh. the arrival of Lilith from Cancer. What do you think? Like, what do you think what that's that about? What do you mean villain era? If you're a Leo, you're always in villain era. Yeah, what is, I guess we're just doing the best of us. I mean, I feel like, are you, and it says with the arrival of Lilith from Cancer. It's what? probably me being completely stone sober and actually like, you're like, I'm so angry right now. Or no, I, like, like no. I have so much energy and can do all things. Ah. And maybe like the Lilith from cancer is just like, do they mean Lilith? Like as in like bad bitch? Cause that's how I'm taking it. That's how I'm taking it too. Because like, is there any other way to mention Lilith? Like Lilith is one of our faves. Yeah, I think it just means you're going to be like a bad bitch working for yourself. I think it, I feel like this really, you know, especially it has to do with you, me, and Lilith. And I just feel like that's going to be a good thing for us this week. I'm just Maybe we'll find our third. Right. And then we'll find our fourth and we can call the corners. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Look out, world. I just thought that was really interesting i was like that's interesting i'm putting it in uh and so i also did something different this week and i um i went to another new website for me and it's called leahwhitehorse.com and they break it down by each day of the week which i thought was pretty freaking awesome so just like the forecast per week so i thought we would just do a quick rundown of it um starting with tomorrow which is monday and um, one thing to mention is you're going to find that you have cur- um, cur- courage to curlers. form. I thought you were going to say curlers. You're going to have curlers and courage. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to have courage. Damn it. You're going to have courage to form new connections. So new connections, new month, new year. Okay. We're going to uh, find Lilith and connect with her. You're going to find Lilith. And you're going to connect with her. Um, nothing major on Tuesday. So Tuesday is just kind of humdrum. Wednesday, you might have some karma from old relationships popping up. So you may need to think about the hurts. And you may need to acknowledge the elephant in the room. Well, I don't have any friends. So I think I'm safe. I think you're safe. Okay. Well, that's cool. Well, uh, Thursday... Uh, there's going to be some relationship healing um, and you're just going to find time to appreciate peace and harmony. So maybe like you get in like a crazy tiff on Tuesday and you find peace and harmony on Thursday, maybe. Mm -hmm. Um, 
we have our first Friday the 13th of the year, which is pretty mm-hmm. cool. Like maybe like go get you like a tattoo or something. Um, so I always have like the oh, deal. You know, I can go get my piercing. I was going to get my lip pierced. Um, go on the 13th. But we ran out of time when we were in Charlotte. So Sometimes I'll have maybe we'll go get our piercings. Stuff. Yes. So Friday the 13th will be a fun day to do that. And um, it's going to be one thing. It's going to be important to have some good conversations with higher ups and embrace your unlimited imagination. So, you know, it might be like, hey, like I, I see this project or something going this way. Like here I am. So it's pretty cool. Uh, Saturday, no major things happening. And then last but not least, a week from now, Sunday, January the 15th, you may feel disconnected or even bored. Um, There could be a clash with a career and maybe a relationship. And you may need to remind yourself to set healthy boundaries and respect those boundaries and use that as an anchor in the storm. So Mm -hmm. use that as it may. Maybe you're just feeling a little pulled between home life and work life or or something like that. So make sure you're setting those boundaries, taking good care of yourself, um, doing all of those things. I already feel the boredom. You're already feeling the boredom. Yeah. I hate not drinking. (laughs) Like what do people do on the weekends who don't drink? (laughs) I just, I think I need a new something. Yeah. Yeah. You'll find it. That'll be our poll number two. What should the delegate get into? What should I get into in the new year? Okay. (laughs) <laughs> we basically need you guys just to tell us what to do with our tell life. Tell us what to do. Like, like we don't freaking know. <laughs> I love it. All right. Well, I'm very disappointed. Um, I was waiting for you to call me all week since your topic was a god or a goddess, and I felt sure you'd want to call me for some interview questions, and my phone never rang. So well, you were too. Yeah. You were you were too much of a downer. <laughs> Only on Friday. <laughs> Well, I did my research yesterday, so. <laughs> well, that was some bad timing, but yeah. so, <laughs> I was fine yesterday. It was Friday. I wasn't so good. <laughs> just like, eh, I'm going to let you just sleep gonna, and watch you're like, I'm just gonna let house. You <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to let you cry it out and pretend it's 1992, okay? I'm just going to let you cut it out. <laughs> <laughs> good one. Good one yeah. there. So, any guesses? This is a big one. A big one. Thor? They are kind of in the same... Well, no, they're not. But I could see them... No, it's not Thor. Okay. Um, Athena? Very close. She is related to her. She-Ra? Take out the S at the beginning. Hera? He-Man? Hera. <laughs> Hera? <laughs> Hera. Hera? It's Hera. Yeah. Oh my God. It's Hera. Hera. Speaking of, wait, no, that's Hera. I was, I was like, speaking of, no, it's Hera's. I'm like, speaking of casinos. Right? <laughs> Watch out, guys. I don't know. My left hand is speaking. My left hand has been itching. I wrote money all over my candle. <laughs> maybe I do need to hit up the casino. Maybe you want me to pull a tarot deck? <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> I don't know, guys. Maybe I should just start tossing some dice. <laughs> I mean, you know, what do you have to lose really at this point? Just right? your money that you don't need anymore. So it's fine. Yeah. Well, that's true. I have, I'm going to have all this spare all right. money. I don't really know anything about Hera. So Hera, she's only queen of the gods in Greek mythology. Well, okay. Kind of a big deal. Kind of a big deal. I'm um, a Hera. Hera, yeah. Like, so she's usually portrayed as very, like, poised and majestic, but wow. Common. If you get on her bad side, she has some wrath coming your way. Uh, I mean, I feel like we're already, like, one and the same, pretty much. Yeah, she's pretty great. She, well, she's right you. up there with Lilith. It's like, pretty high blades. You know I how like her. Lilith. Okay. All right. I like her. What I wanted to do is once I finally cover a few of these bad ladies, I uh, kind of want to do a special episode about like what you think they would be like all together and like who you think would win. It's something. I don't know. We'll Maybe see. we can have a Valentine match. Yes. I like it. <laughs> um, so 
before we get into Hera, let's get into a bit of her family tree because the Greek gods are always just fucking incest- incestuous and just insane. There's just a lot. There's just a lot with them. Yeah. <laughs> so this is a very um, brief family tree. Like it get it can get quite complicated. Right. Pretty much what you need to know when it comes to Hera is there are a group called the Titans, and Titans are any of uranus who represents heaven and gaia's um earth sorry gaia represents earth and their children are the titans so there's 12 right. titans so if you think about it i think it's like heaven earth sea and hell that's kind of like the four main things that come from chaos and then uranus and gaia have children and those are the titans okay so titans are like little hellions they're gods okay Um, yeah some of them are hellions yeah (laughs) so there's six brothers and six sisters um so of the brothers cronus is one and of the sisters rhea is one so these two end up coupling together wow okay wow they have kids (laughs) oh my okay we're inbred we're inbreeding Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. A lot of that. But I don't know if you kind of think about them as gods and separate them from people. It Maybe kind of, I can kind of wrap my head around it. But eh, anyway. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, so those are the Titans. So um, Cronus is the youngest Titan. And uh, titan. yeah, so he he's. He's pretty crazy. Um <laughs> So he's the youngest, so taking the advice of his mother, he actually castrated his father, Uranus. Um, um yeah. and this kind of separated heaven and earth. So remember Uranus is like heaven. <laughs> right. Gaia is earth, so uh, it's kind of separated heaven and earth. So okay. um he became king of the Titans by doing that and married his sister Rhea. Okay, a lot's okay. happening here. A lot is happening. And then they had children, Hestia, Demeter, Hera, Hades, Poseidon, and Zeus. So all those okay. guys. Oh, so she, all right. So Hera's related to Zeus. Yeah, they're they're brother, sister. they're brother, sister, and spouses. <laughs> nice. Okay. We're keeping it all in the family. Yeah, I think Zeus has a thing with Demeter too. I think actually it looked like most of them couple off except for Hades who ends up with one of their children. <laughs> they keep it in the family. Yeah. I mean, they just, you know, wanted something a little younger. Yeah. So they just, you know, one big happy, happy family. Um, <laughs> so those are the kids of Cronus and Rhea. Um, and I think these are like the Olympians. Uh, um, don't quote me on that but i think if you're a child of the titans you're an olympian god i mean another thing we have in common for yeah. sure <laughs> <laughs> um so cronus would swallow each of his children um because he was warned that one of his kids would overthrow him so when they were born he would swallow them as so you he, do yeah so he swallowed hestia demeter what? hera hades and poseidon but Rhea hid Zeus. <laughs> um, so Rhea hid Zeus in Crete and she tricked Cronus and she gave him a swaddled stone and he swallowed it thinking it was Zeus. So he thought he swallowed him, but he didn't. Oh, wow. Well There's a played. lot of trickery with these stories. Um, so Zeus, uh, Zeus, he ended up growing up tall and grew up right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and I... Uh, he ended up once he was like older coming back and he forced Cronus to purge his siblings. So I guess he never digested them. They were just sitting in his stomach. So anyway, he threw up the kids. I have a then, baby uh... in the belly. <laughs> so maybe the original junior situation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so anyway, he threw up the kids and okay. Zeus waged war on him and he was victorious. So <laughs> then he marries Hera. Um, and so now bad. Hera's back. She was thrown up. Now she's back with oh all of her brothers gosh, and sisters. This is crazy. So traumatic start, right, for her and yeah. all these kids. They were swallowed by their dad. 
the brother saved But did they life. still keep growing when they were like in their dad's like stomach or wherever? And like I, I was like, I throw them up and they're like ten. Are they? I have no idea. Right <laughs> like I wonder like how that happened. <laughs> Maybe he just keeps them really small, or he gets bigger and grows with them. Yeah, I was like. Wow. I don't know. If you're a god, I have no idea. Ten million strong and growing. <laughs> this is a lot okay okay so she has quite a backstory right already yeah i mean she's been birthed twice so <laughs> she's been birthed right. and regurgitated <laughs> so got it she's been <laughs> eaten up and spitting out out literally <laughs> uh so she quite literally is a sister wife of zeus <laughs> okay um so she's queen of the olympian gods like I said, which I think are all the children of the Titans. Okay. Um, so one, she's worshipped as Zeus's consort and queen of heaven. And two, she's also um, the goddess of marriage and the life of a woman. So she's a lady's lady. Okay. So yeah, she's, she's there for the ladies. Um, Zeus is super unfaithful. Like, Wow so unfaithful with mortals other creatures other gods oh okay and it makes her furious so Uh this is where we get her wrath it just really pisses her off yeah and she usually takes her wrath out on who he's having affairs with not him okay um i didn't know though i didn't know about you dude (laughs) so that's why i was like is it really her fault like she's just constantly being pissed off by Zeus. And he also like went through this whole like extravagant, like, you know, trying to woo her. He finally gets her, and then he's just constantly cheating on her. It's like the thrill of the hunt. And then once he got her, he's like, whatever. Yeah. So um Thanks. like I said, he really liked visiting the earth um to hook up with mortals, and this would produce demigods. So, like, you know, the mortal god combination, like Hercules, who we'll get to soon. Um, and like I said, he even liked other creatures, like nymphs and um, other goddesses as well. Wow. So we don't need to keep it just in the god- goddess realm. Yeah, he's pretty much like, I'm god of heaven. I can do what I want. Got it. He seems like a guy has got a real attitude problem. Real ego. Real ego. Like- he's such an Aries. Yeah. Sorry, Steven such an Aries um but he's also fucked up he's to me a, an R word um because he would disguise himself as other people to sleep with women so like oh, she would see? think it's her husband or significant other that's not cool man it's just like Zeus that's and not then cool. get and then get Hera's wrath on top of it yeah so but like that, I said I this like would that. make Hera furious yeah but I mean, take it out on Zeus, Sarah. I know that that's kind of my only thing with her. I, if you I want like to Lilith, name. I think Lilith puts her rage where it's appropriate. I yeah. think Hera kind of takes it out on people because that... if you didn't know, like, or yeah. even if you did know, it's Zeus. What are you like? Uh, you know what I mean? It's like I'm a fan uh, of Zeus. I'll be honest. <laughs> oh, I'm not, I don't like him. I don't. Yeah. He's that so, guy. Yeah, he's a total douche. For sure. Douchebag. Total douche. Um, but do you want to hear about some acts of her wrath? Well, sure. Of course I do. <laughs> All right. Let's start with Alcmene. Um, this was the mother of Hercules. So she's a mortal okay. who Zeus uh, had Hercules with. Okay. This is really fucked up, though, because Zeus disguised himself as Alcmene's husband, made love to her, resulting in her pregnancy of Hercules. See, but that's on her. That's shady, right? That's not cool. Shady. That same night, though, her real husband came home later, and Al- Alcmene became pregnant with his son. Like, so she had twins at that point. So it was like. <laughs> They're twins, okay. but it's two different fathers. That's gonna, that's gonna be, I feel like you're going to have like an Arnold Schwarzenegger and a Danny DeVito situation. Yeah, you kind of do. <laughs> <laughs> like Junior. 
<laughs> like junior. Oh, you're not junior. Not junior. Not junior. Um, twins. <laughs> like yeah. Like it's kind of like oh, <laughs> it's like awkward. Yeah. But genetics are they're a weird thing. <laughs> Especially when it's <laughs> shit like this. Like you have Hercules and like a little shrimp. Like how? Like what? <laughs> Oh yeah, just wait. Uh, but I also feel bad for the kid that, that is his brother because he also didn't do anything. Like exactly. he's legit, like that lady's son and that guy's son. But her, her Hercules fuck with didn't him do too. anything either. Like this is all on Zeus, man. It's all on Zeus. Hundred percent. Zeus is a douche. <laughs> Zeus is a douche. Uh, Merch. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so Hera made Alcmene's pregnancy as difficult as possible. <laughs> uh, she she really tried to keep the twin boys from ever being born. Um, oh. So she had uh, Lithia, which doesn't that name sound a lot like Lilith? It does. Lithia. That's where I was saying Lilith, maybe. And that's the goddess of childbirth. Oh, okay. Do you remember how Lilith would, you know, kind of wreak havoc on women who were pregnant? Yeah and you know try to kill their babies and stuff right so i don't know i was like "Mm, that's a funny connection and similar name um but lithia who i think is Hera's daughter actually but anyway she's the goddess of childbirth she had her sit cross-legged uh and was wearing knotted clothing to keep the babies from being born so i guess like whatever she does kind of ties to the pregnancy or like delivery of the baby so Anyway, a servant tricked Lithia into thinking the babies were already born, so she just left. She was like, oh, well, I'm too late. Bye. And um, she even delayed the birth of Hercules until after his cousin was born so that he would not be the next in line to the throne of Tyreen. <laughs> so, like, she's just, like, trying to ruin him and just messing with him. She She hates Hercules so much. And do you remember the series with Kevin Sorbo back in the 90s? Yes, of course. This, whenever I was, I was like, oh yeah, Hera. Like, it brought back so many memories of that show, how she's always just, like, appearing and being, like, super hateful to him. I was like, oh, that's why she I hated him it. so much. Now yeah. the show makes more sense. <laughs> I need to rewatch it now. I was kind of thinking about that. Because I was always series. like, what is her problem with Hercules? Like, why is now she, why is she, and now we know. Um. All right, so that's just all from the start. You know, he's not even born yet. She hates him and is messing with him and his mom. So um, she, like I said, she just tries to make his life as hard as possible. Um, And I just thought this was a funny side story. I'm not going to go too into detail, but pretty much like after he was born, his mom was like worried about Hera, like really messing with him. Sure. So she asked Athena to help. And Athena took Hercules up to um, Hera, because Hera kind of is like the mother god. Like, she kind of represents all that. Gotcha. And Athena, so she she doesn't realize it's Hercules. She's just like, oh, it's a baby. Oh. And Athena's like, yeah, you know, can you help with this baby? She's like, yeah, I'll breastfeed him. <gasps> so then he ends up, like, getting extra, like, power from her. And he what? already had super, and it gets funnier, he already had superhuman strength. So when he was <laughs> breastfeeding, he was like sucking so hard on her, it hurt. And she like pulls him off. And then like her breast milk flies across the sky, forming the Milky Way. <laughs> <laughs> no, it doesn't. I can't deal. No. So no. next time you look up at the Milky Way. Think about Hera's breast milk just flying all over the place. Well, that may make you, if you're on a diet, not want to eat a damn Milky Way. <laughs> yeah, so it made me think about the Milky Way in a whole different way now. Bru- seriously? Yeah, so that's what? how the Milky Way was created. I, I can't, I can't deal. It's from Hera's boob juice. <laughs> wow. Okay, all right. Yeah, uh, so way to go, Hera. Oh. It's a really bad story to stop drinking. I just want to tell you that. Maybe I should have done some edibles before this. Because I'm like, I'm too, I'm too sober for this, Adele. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm sorry. What? Dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Advisory. Advisory. Pause right here. Go eat, go get an edible and then come back. We'll That's right. <laughs> we might lose you if you're too sober. <laughs> um. <laughs> 
So after this, she uh, sent two giant serpents to Hercules' crib. Um, it's him and his brother in this crib. And of course, the mortal kid is like horrified, like, oh of my course. God, these, ter- you know, these serpents trying to kill us. And Hercules just thinks they're kind of funny. He strangles oh. them and is just playing with them like toys. Hercules, <laughs> like he, Hercules. Yeah, wasn't afraid of them at all and just strangled them. <laughs> right. Thank God Hercules was there. Good, yeah, he saved the day. <laughs> Way to go, Hercules. It was that breast milk, man. I, right? I'm like, she kind of shot herself in the foot. <laughs> yeah, it's like you tried to destroy him, but you actually gave him this power. Yeah. Way to know. go, Hera. Way to go. Um, so I, I kind of feel like Athena tricked her too. <laughs> yeah, I feel like if she knew it was Hercules, she would have yeah. like destroyed him. Because she wasn't like, hey, this is Hercules. And yeah. He needs goddess milk. It's kind of like that episode of The Office where Pam accidentally breastfeeds the wrong baby. Not her own. Oh, I didn't see that. That's horrible. <laughs> I feel like it's kind of like one of those situations. <laughs> They're so funny about their bodily fluids in Greek mythology. Yeah, I mean, obviously. <laughs> I mean, there, there's more later. It's just God. like, oh no. Um, so Hercules grew up and then he moved to Thebes. He married Megara, the daughter of King Creon. And they started a family and life was great. Right. And then Hera steps in. Oh, Hera. So this is something Hera likes to do to him. She just drove him insane. Like she made him go completely nuts. And he ended up killing his entire family. <gasps> oh, God. Hera, too far, man. Too far. Yeah. So she's pretty manipulative. And I have to say it's pretty evil. It's like, meanwhile, Zeus is still probably running around. I bet she's like, oh, he did that. I'm going to go take it out on Hercules. Yeah. He's I like the whipping boy. Fair. I bet that's not fair. Yeah. Do this to Zeus. For real. I mean, Hercules can't help it. Yeah. And uh, and he's like really not a bad guy. He's actually a really good guy. Yeah. Um, like he feels absolutely horrible after this. Once his sanity returns, he like can't believe what he did. And he's just devastated. So he fled to the Oracle of Delphi to find a way to be forgiven for his sins. So he was like, how can I do penance? What can I do to make this right? Right. Or to, you know, be forgiven of this. But Hera, she's trying to influence the Oracle. So she guided the Oracle to punish Hercules. And he had to serve King Eurystheus and do whatever was asked for 10 years. Um, and this king is like not a very good person, like not as good of character as Hercules. So it kind of sucks. I feel like uh, Hercules. Yeah. So he's like this king's servant. And this king ended, it ended up being 12 years because some of the feats he told Hercules to do, he was like, no, that was too easy. Or you got help from other gods. So that didn't count. Wow. Um, so this is a time when Hercules does his 12 labors, which are kind of like the, these big feats. Like, hey, you go do this, I don't know, slay this crazy thing. or Yeah. You know, it's just like outrageous things. This uh-huh. like, task. It would like kill you. Yeah, like impossible tasks that, of course, Hercules can do because he's a demigod. Right. right. Um, so once these feats, oh, sorry, one of these feats, he had to go get a belt from an Amazonian queen. Hippolyte or Hippolyte? I forgot. I don't, I'm not sure how to say it. Um, I'm like, I don't understand why this belt is so special. But anyway, he goes with his fleet, and actually, the queen politely agreed to give her belt to him. Hmm. But Hera, she disguised herself as Hippolyte, Dang and it. she spread rumors that Hercules was planning on running off with her, like you know, running off with the queen in secret. Damn it. So, and these are like those Amazon women, like the women yes. warriors. And they're like, you're not taking our queen. Mm-mm. So the Amazonian women attack Hercules and his fleet, but this causes Hercules to kill the real Hippolyte. <gasps> like, oh. he wasn't there to do that, but they all get in battle, and he kills her and takes the belt. So Hera kind of got her killed. And not her. Uh, we, gotta, we gotta talk about misplaced aggression. I, I, feel think, like I think so. Wow. Once his 12 labors were done, uh, he ended up joining the Argonauts. So those are like other demigods 
Gotcha. So they have a lot in common. Pro- probably more of Zeus's children. Probably. Um, <laughs> and then at this point, he falls in love with the princess. I think her name is pronounced Loli. L O L E. Cute. So I'm going to say it's Loli. Sorry if I'm wrong. Yeah. But um, he wins her hand in an archery competition, but her father and brothers like are like, yeah, you won, but no, you don't get to have her. They're just kind of like snubbing him. They're like, yeah. oh, I'm actually just kidding. Psych. So he killed them all. <laughs> oh, well, there you go. We'll walk around with Hercules. Um, he killed all of them except for one of her brothers who liked him, who was like, no, that's not right, guys. Like he won, I like this guy, and they end up becoming best friends. His well, name was, go. yeah, his name was Iphitus. You're like, this is my best friend. Also, I uh, killed my whole family. Yeah, he was probably like, I didn't like any of them anyway. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah Hercules. <laughs> Hercules for the win. Hercules, Hercules, please. Um, so here comes Hera again. Stop what she, already. What does she do again? She makes him crazy again. And he does the same thing again. He doesn't do, I don't think he does anything to Loli, but he throws Iphitus off the city wall and kills him. And then mm. what does he do again? He becomes his servant as penance. But this <sighs> time he serves uh, Queen Omphile and did quote unquote women's work. And dressed in women's clothes while he served her. Okay. So, um, you know, this whole thing was like to try to like soften him up, like like make him soft, more well rounded. Okay. You know? yeah. But I also yeah. feel like it was just to emasculate him because yeah, this queen also donned his club and wore like his lion skin clothes while he was dressed like a woman while he was serving L- her. A little role reversal situation. Yeah. Like, yeah. I think they were having a little fun with us. Yeah. We're just going to leave that in the little gray area for you to fill in the blanks. Well, definitely seems like some role playing and some maybe romance happened because she eventually sets him free and marries him. So I think they were kind of enjoying this. Like, I guess she could say that the capture captured her heart. Oh, there you go. (laughs) (laughs) Um, and I don't know if they just get divorced, but he ends up like, I don't know, marrying other people. Oh, like, so he doesn't go crazy this time. It's like, this just doesn't work it out, man. It's yeah, he doesn't go crazy out. this time. Well, that's um, good. I'm glad I haven't got murdered this time around. Yeah, I don't think he did anything bad to her. Um, but from here, he like just went on to have like several adventures and tons of affairs with women and men and fathered okay. several children. So wow. kind of like his dear old dad. He's being like Zeus. Except like, he's, not, like, Come on. he's not tricking people, though. I think he's at least Hercules the whole time. <laughs> well, I guess at least he's got that going for him. Yeah. So, so that was kind of like the last time Hera messed with him. Um, I think he ends up like getting his from all these affairs at the end. But that that's the last of Hera. I didn't want this to be the Hercules story. But yeah, she really liked to step in and ruin things for him. Yeah, it's like she really, out of all the people Zeus probably fathered, she really hated Hercules, I feel like, the most. Oh, God. Great. She hated him so much. I wonder why him. Like, you I, don't know? Know. I don't know if it's because maybe it was, like, the first kid that he fathered with, like, somebody maybe. other. But he's by far not, like, the only kid. No, that's why I'm like, damn. Like, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, I, she, she, I feel like Hercules could have had a really good, simple life. Yeah. Hera would not allow that. Mm. but uh every time she tried to thwart him he would end up like learning a lesson from it and you know but it would just hurt the people in the process yeah. <laughs> and never hurt in- a lot of innocent people i feel like with lilith she didn't mess with innocent people as much yeah with lilith it's more like they had it coming they had it coming but i feel like i'm like come on Hera. like i feel yeah, like what, she, what are you, you doing know, girl i really feel like she was unfair to zeus and you know or not zeus to hercules she should have taken out all out on zeus I agree. Like, come on. That's my take on it. And to 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 be so pissed at Hercules, you certainly like check in on his life a lot. Like, right? You want nothing to do with that kid? Uh, yeah. But, I mean, I guess without them, we wouldn't have the Milky Way. So thank you for that. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's the silver lining. That's the silver lining. 
<laughs> that's that's the milky line. <laughs> All right. I, I just have a few more and they aren't nearly as long. So I mean Hercules definitely, I think, is her favorite to mess with. Yeah, like she really picked on Hercules. She really hated big time. I was like, okay, uh, you're a bully. Yeah. Number one. Um, so let's talk about Leto. Uh-oh. Um Leto is a goddess who had an affair with Zeus. Big surprise. Shocker, not Zeus. And she became pregnant with Apollo and Artemis. Artemis! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we all like Apollo and Artemis, right? But here's the thing. Like, okay, so every time Zeus, like, he must be super fertile. Like, because every time he sleeps with a god, a human, or a creature, they have a child. Yeah. Well, he is a god, I it's guess. Crazy. Can... I don't know. Like, he likes to procreate. He does. Uh, so <laughs> this one's just so petty. <laughs> like oh, this no. poor lady. Paris were to curse any land in which Leto inhabited. So this caused Leto to wander for months while she was pregnant. Because like she just couldn't settle anywhere. She didn't want the land or like the people to get, you know, cursed. So she just kept wandering around for months oh, during her pregnancy. <laughs> and then she finally settled in Delos to give birth. But Hera forced Lithia, there again, to make Leto's labor go on for nine months. So that's where we get the nine month cycle. I guess, probably. So, um, I mean, but that's in labor for nine months. Oh, like actual labor, labor. Like childbirth for nine months. Not the whole shebang. Not the whole pregnancy. This is like oh, birthing nice. those kids for nine months. Nice. Like almost a year for childbirth. Yeah. So way to go, Leto, but thank you for giving us Apollo and Artemis. That's right. Oh and uh, and yes, it is Leto, L-E-T-O. So I wonder, yeah. is Jared Leto Greek? You know, I don't know. Maybe. I didn't realize. I was like, Leto? Hmm. It's possible. Perhaps. But he is a god. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, um, crazy lineage there <laughs> yeah i'm sure he's directly related <laughs> i'm positive <laughs> his father is zeus <laughs> his great 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 grandfather was zeus leto <laughs> zeus leto you heard of him <laughs> heard it here first guys uh, oh i mean he does have the band 30 seconds to mars <laughs> Maybe, oh, maybe you know, we're just here also like you know helping with family trees like anything we can do i'm gonna like, draw i'm gonna fabricate a family tree with him like way down at the bottom branches that would be great but go straight up to zeus that would be great i mean you know heard it here first as adele said yep jared leto is a greek god <laughs> that's right a, a direct descendant yes he, he's a muse is what he is i get see you just what we're gonna get <laughs> are you kidding i want to be on the show that's right. hey come on you're come on jerry something you're welcome anytime come on Find us, uh stormy willow podcast at gmail.com <laughs> let us know we'll get you booked <laughs> yeah hey, we're kind of busy but we can squeeze you in <laughs> i mean i could probably move some things around if i have to yeah i mean just let us know what time zone you're on as well that's right <laughs> Um, next one is Echo. Ooh. So this was a mountain nymph. Um, mountain nymph. Oh, God. Okay. Hera suspected Zeus was cheating with her, so she came to Earth to catch them. And uh, each time she came to Earth to try to catch him in the act, Echo would hold her up in conversation, just like, hey, what's going on, Hera? How's your day going? Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> you know, she'd just, like, chat her up. And then after this happened a few times, Hera was like, I know what you're doing. You're chatting me up so Zeus can get dressed and sneak away. Because Hera catches on at these things all the time. She's like, okay, that, that's cute. I've, I've dealt with this behavior a while, okay? Yeah. I know. She's like, "That okay, okay, Echo, that, that's that's real cute. So then uh, Hera cursed Echo to only speak the last few words directly spoken to her. Kind of like an Echo. Oh. Echo, echo, echo. Oh, <laughs> I get it. She couldn't chatter up anymore. <laughs> wow. Lots coming together for me. Right? It's eye opening. Very eye opening. So she gave us the Milky Way and Echoes. Thanks, Hera. Yeah. And Artemis and Apollo. Yeah. Well, 
Leto gave us that, but paid yeah. for it. But yeah, but paid purely for it. Yeah. Well, it's not like she died. Just sucked for nine months, but she's a god. She can take yeah. it. Yeah. Um, and I'm not sure how to say this name. It's just I-O. I think it's E-O. Okay. I like it. Um, she was the first priestess of Hera. And of course, Zeus developed the hots for her. Of course. I'm so shocked. Mm-hmm. And when Hera would try to catch Zeus with Eo, he would hide them under thick clouds. <laughs> she would just be like peeking and he'd be like, clouds. Um, so when Hera was like, damn it, now I have to come down there and see what's going on. So when she made her way through the clouds, Zeus turned Eo into a white heifer and was like, I don't know where this cow came from. <laughs> I don't know that cow. <laughs> this is maybe my favorite one. Um... And then Hera's like, oh, okay. Mm-hmm. You don't, oh, you don't know this random cow that's just standing here with you, Zeus? Well, can I have the cow? He's like, yeah, sure, you can have the cow. I don't know this cow. Um, so then she had Argus, who's the all seeing god, um, to watch over the cow and protect it. So mm-hmm. now that's kind of thwarted Zeus because he can't get near the cow because it's under constant watch of Argus. If you tell me they end up having a cookout, no. <laughs> It's even I'm gonna, so yeah. it's even more dramatic than that. So then Zeus is like, "Hey Hermes, come here." Oh Hermes, Hermes, I want you to lull Argus to sleep so I can go visit the cow. And she's still a cow at this point. Okay, she's still one hundred percent a cow. <sighs> so you know Hermes lulls him to sleep so he can go visit the cow and still have an affair with the cow. Okay, so Hera was so pissed when she found out the links that Zeus was going through to have an affair with the cow. Um, So she this is so funny. She sent a gadfly, which is kind of like a horse fly. Mm -hmm. Just one. To just bother the heck out of the heifer. Just like constantly just harassing her and biting her and stuff. Mm -hmm. So then the heifer flees Greece. She's just like, I'm out. I have to get away from this fly. And then finally, once she reaches Egypt, Zeus turns her back into a woman. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, oh, okay. they're crazy. This is a lot, guys. This is a lot. Okay, and this is the last one. I think she's done more things than us, but these were some of the highlights and some of the- I'm listening. Favorite. I'm just running on the lights. <laughs> so this is Samily. Um, so this is a mortal lover of Zeus. Um, he promised to grant her anything she wished for. And Hera, there again, being a shady bitch, she befriended Semele. And then she's like, you know what you should really ask Zeus for? You should ask to see his true form as a god. Ooh. But what Semele doesn't know is you mortals can't take that. So when she asks Zeus, he grants her wish and she bursts into flames. Because... Um mortals can't take gods in their true forms <laughs> evil woman or goddess or whatever yeah oh, ah. but she never took anything out on Zeus. no no i don't know for sure i mean if anybody knows if she like did anything to zeus let me know but it looks more like she took it out on everybody yeah like she's definitely. more like that jealous kind of wife yeah but so you know yeah, yeah. Uh. oh and bef- sorry i forgot to cite my sources at the top so this is all from B- britannica.com all britannica um greeker than greeks <laughs> oh, sorry greeker than the greeks.com um greekboston.com classicalwisdom.com and ranker.com oh hell yeah and this kind of makes me want to have great uh, something in the Trinian for dinner tonight. Some there you go. He does. I had some grapes earlier. Yeah, some tzatziki. Mm-mm. I do like some oh, tzatziki. That is a pretty crazy story. Um, wow. <laughs> so much incest and drama. So much drama. Um, I really just don't know what to say about all of this. <laughs> I, I think my favorite, though, is the freaking heifer. Yeah, she's <laughs> like, um, me. Zeus, what are you doing, dude? Like, uh, it's just a pair. Heifer. 
I don't know where this cow. I don't know where this cow. I just I don't know. I was just hanging out, sitting on this rock. Your cow here? What? What cow? (laughs) (laughs) It's like you couldn't turn her into like a worm and hide her under a rock. Yes, but a cow. Ah, I'm glad I didn't eat her. Or just make her invisible. (laughs) Yeah, for real. Your God. (laughs) Ah, Zeus. That's like where his mind went. A cow. Uh, ew. And I bet you call me a heifer? Like, what? And then it's like, you didn't change her back into a woman? <laughs> right? Oh, my. Yeah. I, I think for me, it's the Milky Way. It's gonna, I'm gonna always remember the story. <laughs> That's what I'm always gonna, I'm gonna remember her breast milk. <laughs> like, Isn't that so <laughs> funny, <laughs> though? Because it's like, Hercules just is just an infant, but he's already like, I don't know this lady, but I, you know, they're kind of getting a little tiff. <laughs> He doesn't even know it's Hera, and she doesn't know it's him. But he, like, sucks on her boob too hard. And she's like, ah, I hate this kid. Oh, it's just, wow. Oh, wow. A lot there. A lot to unpack there. Yeah. There was also, well, no, I took it out. It was a Hercules story. That one also had, it it was too much about Hercules, and it was getting off the path of Hera. But, like, there was more stuff with, like, a centaur and, like, you know take my blood and semen and wipe it on his clothes and it'll make him not have affairs anymore (laughs) but it was like a trick to like hurt hercules and it's like why why is your semen just hanging around (laughs) you just got shot with an arrow bro (laughs) yeah Uh, like man well i mean this is like a backstory of hercules as well yeah Uh, yeah I, I forgot how incredibly dramatic the Greek gods are. So dr- what is that show Grandpa used to always make us watch on TBS? I cannot take it about the Greek gods and they were like little, like little claymations. Um, it wasn't like the Argonauts, Jason. Maybe and the it Argonauts? was. Yes, I think that's what it was. Like the movie. It was I guess it was the movie? It wasn't really a show. It was like a movie, but it was always on TBS. And Medusa. Yes, it yeah. always freak me out it was, it was chasing just in the argonauts with like that sea yeah. monster yes it was just like this is a lot happening like i remember even as a kid i'm like what the hell is happening yeah what, what time does critters come on i need to be normal <laughs> to watch i need for normal to watch okay i need yeah. critters in my life <laughs> oh no man like really this... good adele thank you i mean she was she was a lot of fun <laughs> oh my god Her pettiness and uh I just, she kind of reminds me of Cersei, who, from uh, Game of Thrones. Okay. Uh, you know, like, oh, okay, you think you're outsmarting me. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, I can't, I can't get through Game of Thrones. I've tried five times, and I've made it through half of episode one, season one. Oh, uh, so you got it, it's almost like the whole first season. I could get, I was like, I can't do this. I just can't. If you, if, warning, if you have not watch game of thrones and you don't want a spoiler in the first season pause right here or skip 15 seconds okay got it okay you have to wait until jamie's hand gets cut off then it gets awesome okay because i just saw the kid get pushed and i was like oh, I'm yeah. Done. oh yeah it takes forever but once that happens that's when you're like what? and then everything is just like your hooks and okay. that's almost the entire first season god can i just skip through or what i now really you really need to it. see the setup because then that's when jamie starts having this beautiful character arc like i really liked jamie after yeah. that point like he he had the most like transformative character well so did <laughs> daenerys maybe i can try but man it's, it's a stretch Cersei, for me. Though, his sister She's just evil the whole time, and it's the best thing. She's just such an evil, evil bitch, and it's great. It's just, it's just hard for me, uh, the Greek mythology. I mean, you know, not my number one favorite Greek is George Michael. You know, he's Greek, or was Greek, I guess I should say. I, I guess because he's so pretty. I can yeah. see that. Me too. Yeah, like you can definitely tell he's like a Greek god lineage. He was like Again. Adonis. <laughs> Yeah, like we're just we're breaking it down. Like if you think you have any Greek uh in you, let us know and we'll we'll find your god goddess lineage right here. Yeah. So I'm emotional alone. <laughs> <laughs> and that's uh, why like, I don't even know why you wanted to find out what Nolan was. Like we know, obviously. Yeah. 
<laughs> we know what he, what Nolan's made of. He's a uh, what, what's the Scotty. dog? I can't think of his name. It's a Scott. He's a Scotty Griffon. Cerberus. Cerberus. The three headed dog. Oh, yeah, I forgot about Cerberus, him. Right? Yes. <laughs> Oh man, maybe I need to give mythology, Greek mythology, another chance. I don't know. It's, it's just hard. It's so it's been years since I remember having. I, I took like, I think the last time I really did anything with the Greeks was maybe in art history. Oh. I was like, why did I voluntarily take this class? <laughs> I mean, I you know I, I took Latin and that was it was fascinating. It, but whoa. Yeah. And I just, it's just always been just so, I guess for me, and it's so weird because I love things that are out there, obviously, hence our podcast, but sometimes like the Greek gods and stuff, it just gets, I don't know, it's just hard for me sometimes. Maybe I should try it now that I'm a little older, but it can get really confusing and it can, I don't know, it's just a lot. It's just a lot. <laughs> it's just very sure. like, what? I, I will have to tag this in social, but there was a really good Greek gods series amanda and i were watching a few years ago and you know in um the deathly hollows harry mm-hmm. potter you, you know like the the story when they start talking about the deathly hollows that her mind right. like, it's like in that style Ooh, so okay. but it's just about the greek gods all and right it was really good okay. uh i even heard like i think orpheus he's actually my favorite because he was so emo and like he ends <laughs> up getting like his head chopped <laughs> off or something oh but I was like, he's so emo. I think he might be my new favorite. The the fur babies and I have like watched Murder She Wrote like probably about ten times now. So maybe we can switch over to the old like nineties Hercules. Like, maybe oh, that would be good to have yeah. playing in the background. You know, <laughs> maybe they would like that. <laughs> yeah, but, it's a lot to it. but this was a great topic. I'm glad you changed up the wheel. Like this was something different for us, and I really enjoyed it yeah this one was fun um and there's so many greek gods and goddesses and they're all it's, freaking nuts they're all nuts yeah for sure and you know like what cool like if you're having a baby in 2023 like maybe check out some of these names like they're pretty awesome i like the oh, greek yeah. names. and even like or if you're getting a fur baby even it doesn't even have to be yeah. a fur baby. Um, not a baby like these are good things even like Rhea, like that's a really cool name. Oh my well, god, you know, shut up. Ryan Gosling is on an episode of Hercules. <laughs> oh my god, like how old is he? Like 12? Here, I'll share my screen. No, he looks like he's a teenager. I was trying to find that that show I was telling you about. There he is. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Who else that is, is over here? Right. That is okay. great. All star cast guys, <laughs> Gosling guys. Uh, oh yeah, God. that was like ninety eight, ninety nine. <laughs> Holy cow! I love it. I love how he still kind of has like a bowl cut happening. Yeah, oh, that's great. That's awesome. That's pretty amazing. Yeah, I, I think I'm gonna rewatch that series. I really do. Oh, and then yeah, I love it whenever Xena gets introduced and then she yes. gets spin off. And then she has her own spin off. Yeah, the Warrior Princess. And you know, yeah, the oh, the, know. the the. The lesbian undertone of Xena. Love <laughs> it's it. just so so fantastic. like so are we gonna name our next fur babies uh Xena and George Michael? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> I- I'm gonna pick somebody more obscure. So people will think that my George Michael is probably like George Michael Bluth. George Michael who? Bluth. Bluth? Bluth from Arrested Development. Remember the um uh, oh Thomas yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's probably more accurate. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot that kid's name was George Michael. Yeah, I love that's another great series to you to you watch. <laughs> it's timeless. It holds up. It's yeah, like but yeah, I will find out the exact series I'm talking about because the style of it was yeah. so fun to watch because it They're was kind of there it's like that cool animated kind of style but it was still engaging enough like I don't know right but it maybe that's really a lot good. of it is that some of like the style of like the shows about the Greek gods and goddesses is just like puts me to sleep a little bit so maybe yeah. I just need to have to found my right balance I think it was I'll find it and I'll I'll post it. But uh yeah, like that style worked so well because like that Deathly Hollows style. Yeah, it was just felt really cool and eccentric. Was it like cheesy? Yeah. Yes. Well, should we spin our wheel? 
let's spread our will and see what we have for next week. I can't wait. This is uh, the first spin I've taken on the new wheel. Yes. Did you enjoy the music I put in last time? I love the music you put in the last time. Right. I might, ha- might have okay. to do that. It really spins. It, this thing is no joke. Like it, it spins like crazy. And then all of a sudden it's like, boop. It's a cryptid creature. Do you want to respin or do you want to go? Can I respin? Because I just did a cryptid yeah. creature. Right. And I feel like I'm, there's one I, I want to do, but it's one of your favorite favorites. And I'm not going to take it from you. Okay. Shut up. You got cryptids again. All right, maybe but, I should just do it. Maybe the here. universe is telling me. I can just remove it. <laughs> well, I feel like you got back in those. This is a good one. Oh, no, we'll remove it for this spin. Okay. All right, do you want cryptid or theory? Uh, I'll do cryptid. Or do you want another spin? <laughs> I have another spin. <laughs> I don't know. Here. I'll so spin it. Uh, can we play another game? <laughs> or do you just want presenter's choice? <laughs> no. Phenomenon? <laughs> you know what? Presenter's choice. Presenter's choice. Okay. All right. It's presenter's choice. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Because that's maybe how I, I kept sh- feeling about the Maybe possession. I shouldn't go gamble tonight <laughs> with that. No. Okay. Presenter's choice. All right. Okay. I got Bye. you. Well, Adele, thank you for the really cool topic. I really loved it. And whenever you're out star, you know, stargazing, just think about that great story when you see the Milky Way. <laughs> and, you know, we're in the Milky Way galaxy. <laughs> we're up there. <laughs> oh, shit. That's great. Well, thank you guys for listening. Hope that you're having a great new year. Um, hope you have a great week. If you had a bad week last week, hope that this week is much calmer. And uh, as we say here on the podcast, we hope that you stay safe out there. Stay curious. And never trust the living. living. Bye, you guys. Bye.